Let us take a look at the types of GitHub accounts. We've got three, personal, organizational, and enterprise. So for personal accounts, these are individual accounts with a username and profile. They can own resources like repos and projects and actions are taken uh, based on the personal account. They can either be GitHub free and GitHub pro, which we will definitely describe in this section of the course. Then you have organization accounts. I said organizational above, organization, just think of them as the same thing, whichever language you want to use. Shared accounts where we have multiple people collaborating on projects. They can own resources just, like, uh, just as the personal account has. Um, and these are generally managed through individual personal accounts. I say generally because um, when we were going through setting up our organization, we had the option to convert our personal account into some kind of business. Um, so we didn't go through that. And generally, I've always known this to be through personal accounts. The exam is not going to test you either, either way, but I just want to point that out. Organizations offer different roles with varying levels of access and constant security features. Those roles are predefined. Um, if you want more flexible custom roles, you'd have to have enterprise for that. Enterprise accounts. So this is part of the GitHub Enterprise Cloud and GitHub Enterprise Server. These accounts allow for central management of multiple organizations. They're geared towards larger setups needing centralized policies and building management. Or if you have to have internal Git, uh, uh, GitHub repos, which is a a specific type of GitHub repo specifically for enterprise. The exam, surprisingly for me, asks a lot of uh, enterprise specific questions, which I don't really think is fair for the GitHub Foundation. So I'm just telling you up front, you're gonna have to remember some factoids for enterprises if you want to max out your points on the exam. Let's take a quick look at GitHub personal and organizations before we move on here. So as you can see, you get a profile. If you look at the top right corner, it is based on your username. So github.com forward slash uh, uh, forward slash Omen King there. And if you had a repo, the repo is going to have uh, your, your your username followed by the repo name, okay? For organizations, it's very similar. It also has a public profile page. Uh, it also has a username and um, it's, not, it's not exactly the same, but it's the same concept, but it's going to follow the same pattern for uh, repos. So repos can either have an org name or a username, okay? So there you go.